Homeowners and businesses in Perth's east are being left in limbo with their properties flagged as car parks for a new train station. The government won't buy them out yet and residents now fear no one else will either. David Bakion has put his entire life into his High Wickham nursery, the place he inherited from his father where he raised his kids. We've planned our life around this property uh, and it's gone. It's gone. The 57-year-old was hoping to retire next year, but that won't happen, all because of the $2 billion Forestfield rail line. As it, make, it makes me feel angry. In March, we start to find out that the Dundas Road will be closed, uh, our property is under threat, and we don't know when. The Shire of Kalamunda has a master plan for the train station precinct. The Bakion's property isn't affected in the short or medium term, but it's flagged as a long-term PTA car park within 20 years. It's like the pack of cards being thrown up in the air, that's what it comes down to. They've got no certainty with regard to their businesses, they've got no certainty with regard to land values. David fears the uncertainty has frozen the property's value and put off potential buyers. I don't think uh, uh, anyone would even entertain the idea of buying it. Legislation to make way for the rail line is currently being debated before Parliament but once it becomes law, the government can start taking land and acquiring property. But the PTA says at the moment, David Bakion's business is not on its list. Regardless, there's cause for the PTA to make its long-term plans clear. People have spent money rezoning their land. It's a lot of sunk costs, and now they don't know what the future holds for their properties. And that's my son. Josh Yerger, Nine News.